Okay, so I'm back and before the video start is greatly appreciated when you want to act so please like, comment, and subscribe. So I've been gone for like two days and I ain't gonna lie, this time was not my fault. So you know the whole Curtis and Natalie thing? Actually, that's actually what this video is about. But I posted Natalie live responding to Curtis. YouTube, they did not like it, said oh we're going to age restrict your video then they said fuck it we taking it down then they said fuck it we taking your whole monetization excuse me now they did this before got it back i got it back now but it's like why 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 are you messing with me because i'm looking on youtube this natalie live is everywhere why did you do that to my channel and they say they just feel like the live went against community guidelines okay still don't make sense but okay but you had to just snatch my whole channel like that was it that deep i don't think so but it, it, it ridiculous that's why i wasn't here because youtube kept picking with me I, I had to work to get my stuff back but we are back and am i putting that live back up uh-uh nope i don't care if everyone else got it i'm not putting it back up let me tell you what she said in the live basically she said curtis was trying to extort her he said give me the money and rolex or before i expose you he was mad that uh, Natalie's husband, Jacob, got a Rolex, and he didn't. He was mad because Natalie did not text him on his birthday. Basically, he was a side nigga trying to act like he was the husband. Yeah. If you ask me, Natalie was playing a trick or a sugar mama, whatever you want to call it. Basically, to me, that's what she was doing. She admitted to sleeping with Curtis, and she said uh, her and her husband, Jacob, they go on breaks. So when they go on breaks, Natalie, she go and sleep with whoever she want to sleep with. Jacob, he go and sleep with whoever he want to sleep with. Then they come back and everything is back normal again, okay? This is... Yeah, all right. She made sure to tell us it's not an open marriage. They just like to take breaks. So basically, this video, what we doing is picking up where we left off. We got some new characters. Um, Some characters don't really make sense, if you ask me. Uh, One of them kind of do. Uh, But it's like, you like, you're defending weird shit. But it's like, you know, we just gonna, we're gonna pick up where we left off, okay? Okay. Okay, so, you know, the first two messages. He said, send me my rollie or my money or I'm gonna let everybody know. She said, this is the craziest shit ever, right? Then, their messages again. She said, ho, like, I did nothing. Come on with the F. I've been laying low. He said, you are a ho and a bad role model. Bye. You done. You a ho. Send my rollie and my money or I'm gonna let everybody know. You lost the realest nigga in your corner. Have fun being a hoe on the road. She said, huh? He said, you read what I said. She said, nigga, who the F you talking to? I'm being nice, like I said. Now, in my opinion, blackmailing somebody and then two minutes later saying you a bad role model was crazy. Pick a side. You either good or bad. You can't, be, you can't blackmail somebody and then say they a bad role model because what are you then? Okay, so boom, Curtis starts posting, right? So Natalie, she sent a picture of a Rolex to Curtis, right? He said, I almost crashed looking at that Rolex. She said, what's your address? He did not respond and then some time later she said are you happy you got the watch right and then it says tell her to keep the rollie i made that off my last two songs now i don't know if this nigga was deleting messages or whatever but from from what i'm seeing these messages do look like she brought him a rollie and was sending it to him because she asked for the address but rollie not rollie <laughs> natalie is saying that the rollie was jacobs my bad also apparently off of his two songs he made Seven thousand four hundred and sixty-five dollars. Now I don't know what bust down Roly cost seventeen thousand. I didn't know they was that cheap. Are they? I don't see how a bust down Roly is seven. That it just don't sound right to me. But if it is, okay. But Natalie, she posted the Roly. She said, talking about I brought him this watch. No, you're delusional. You think I brought you a watch because I brought Jacob that watch? You're not Jacob. Stop, bro. I never brought you a watch. You're sick in the head. What I mean, Natalie is giving in these text messages. That's what it was. Um, like, what? Jacob was on Instagram wearing his watch December 24th. So you sending pictures of gifts to your sneaky link of what you got for your husband? And what does that mean? What's your address? Did you get the watch? What? Did, what, what where is the watch that you got him? I don't, I'm understanding. Because why? I'm, <laughs> I'm so confused. Did she get the watch for Curtis and then ended up giving it to Jacob or what? Because I'm not, I, something is not clicking. Natalie said, Jacob Ben had the red bust down Rolex. This guy's doing anything right now for clout. He playing a weird game. You didn't get no watch out of me. You didn't get no extortion money. Now you trying to lie and make it seem like I brought you a watch. I want to see a Rolex on your arm right now. Post it. You're cap. You're doing a lot, bro. I'm, I'm not playing with you clout chasers anymore. She said, I want him to leave me alone. And he won't. This is when legal will have to step in your popping up places i am and also extorted me for money and a watch i have asked you to leave me alone you going on podcast trying to get paid interviews it's crazy leave me alone 
Then she posted some more messages between her and Curtis. He said, why you turn off your location? She said, "I bro, haven't, no, 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 no. She said, I did it. He said, I don't see it no more, right? Then he said, yo, what's really going on with you? You rocking slow. Yo, I'm leaving. You want to talk before I go or not? Nah? Then he said, if not, it's cool. I'm out. And she did turn off her location, right? And he said, fuck you, bitch. I put in all that time for nothing. <laughs> now, when she posted those messages, she made the caption say, real talk, this the last thing I'm going to say in this conversation is over. I told you on the phone, leave me alone. I told you I wasn't sending you no extortion money or a Rolex. I told you my husband and I was on a break. We're back and things are great. You want to do all this and I was woman enough to already have this conversation with who matters most, my family. You not getting a dime out of me, period. Point blank, my lawyers will be stepping in. Extortion is a crime and stalking me is a crime. And that's that. Stop playing with me. I'm telling you now, leave me alone. Well, Curtis, that 17000 you made off of them two songs, you might want to keep it because it sounds like her lawyers are about to be on that ass, baby. Then, Curtis' brother steps in. His name is Ernesto, okay? So, Natalie posted some messages and a caption about him as well. Apparently, uh, he texted her because he said, LOL. She said, yup, you done because you playing. He said, I don't care. She said, and I told y'all leave me alone. He said, sis, you know me. Sis is crazy. For this man to only be a sneaky link and convenient like Natalie said, sis is crazy. Ernesto said, you should have left your husband. Why? So your brother could be with a rich lady. And, you know, I don't think she's going to leave her husband for Curtis, bro. Um, but then Natalie said, now y'all being dirty. He said, been with Curtis. She said, you should mind your business. No. Uh, he said, want to meet my whole family? Yeah, right. She said, bet. He said, I'm going to do something to you. And Zeus, watch. I haven't been in my Ruth mind lately. She said, I'll wait. He said, okay, sis. She said, I move around everywhere comfortably. He said, me too. She said, I ain't got no issue. Threatening this lady with harm for one is not going to do good in court because I don't think she's playing about this lawyer shit. But, but just being a man and threatening her because your brother tried to extort her and you mad that he ain't get the money out of it. Now he getting exposed. It's crazy work. Nasty work. What are you? Weird. Lame as hell. Weirdo. He said, I'm going to hurt you, Natalie. Corny me hurt your brother because he's the one he's the one that got you in this lame shit go hurt your brother did your brother tell you he was trying to extort her blackmail her doing weird did he tell you that or did you found out on instagram with the rest of us she said okay like i said now the brother is messaging me been going all day in my dms he was just exposed by three trans okay all right he was just exposed by three transgenders and my gay fans for being down low i could care less about your sexuality but little miss sassy pants you might want to get out my dms threatening me Leave me alone, y'all. Leave me alone. Um, me personally, I couldn't give two fucks about this man being bisexual. I don't care that he's bi. Girl, this man just threatened to hurt you. Literally said, Natalie, I'm going to hurt you. What? I know people like to throw that in these little arguments. Like, oh yeah, you gay, I'm going to use that against you. Like, they love doing that shit. Now, Ernesto, he is fully in this conversation now. So first, he reposted Stunner Girl, like, original post exposing all this. First, first of all, I forgot that she started this whole shit when I started it. But, like, she's the one that exposed this whole thing to begin with. Ernesto said, all I know is you little niggas on Zeus better not try nothing dumb with my brother. We jumped the one. We jumped the one nigga who did some dumb stuff. Don't let it be another situation. <laughs> We're so scared. I'm Ernesto. Who? I don't think they're scared. I don't. Who? Like, first of all, who's going to do anything? Natalie is a woman. So who's the Zeus niggas that you're talking about? What are you talking about? Oh wait, wait, wait! I forgot, I forgot. Because uh, uh, some of the some of the bad boys was in the comments talking shit. I think, I think Adonis was laughing at him. I think Ara was making threats towards them. Yeah, yeah. I, it was probably someone I don't know. Hold on, y'all. Curtis versus Ara. Who do y'all think will win that? Then Curtis versus Adonis. Who do y'all think will win that? In my opinion, Natalie, you should have dropped Curtis and went for Mo City when he sent you them little messages. Well, well those alleged messages because i don't think most city would have snitched on you he got his own relationship that he he don't need to be uh being exposed to for cheating on too so you should have just went with most city if you ask me yeah i remember when that stuff came out natalie you should have just took the bait with most city bro because now look he turned out to be a weird nigga trying to extort you ernesto also said you niggas on social media is so sensitive and weak go jump in the streets or something please why because you threatened the lady you literally told her you gonna hurt. that's sensitive you think that's sensitive because as a nigga, what if you, you know, sister, female, cousin, mama, son, what if someone texted them and say, I'm going to hurt you? A nigga texted them that. You you wouldn't feel away. Then he said, my brother was nothing but nice to her. Do you not know what extort me? You, uh, whatever. 
Um, he said she want to be disrespectful. She met my grandma and everything. She did some disrespectful stuff a couple weeks ago. Now we talking. Your sh Natalie, you met this nigga grandma? Natalie, knowing his brother is one thing, right? But for this man to just be a sneaky link because all you said was he was only convenient. You said this nigga was convenient. And you have a husband. His grandma? Meeting your sneaky link grandma is crazy. And then on top of that, did she know you was married to somebody else while you sleeping with her grandbaby? <laughs> did the grandma ask about Jacob? Because you know, grandmas be messy. Nick. Did you? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, uh, he also said she did some disrespectful stuff a couple weeks ago. What was the disrespectful stuff? What did she do? We need details. We need details. He said, no one from Zeus come to New York. You're in New York? I'm going to catch a case simple. Nick, nobody is scared of you. I promise you, no one. I bet you they all could pull up to New York right now. Nothing's going to happen. The same shit with Smiley. Remember Smiley said, Mariah, you're banned from Miami. What did Mariah do? She went to Miami. No, I hate when they be doing this shit. Nobody's scared of y'all. Now, Ernesto, he started posting messages between him and Natalie. So, Natalie texted him saying, where's Curtis? Oh, not in the morning, child. She said, where's Curtis? Is something wrong with his phone? He said... Uh, it shouldn't be. I'm not with him right now. He called me like an hour ago and woke me up. He's with my grandma. He's doing something with the car, she, he said. Then he said, thanks, sis. The couch fire. It just came. So she really brought the couch? <laughs> then he posted these messages. She said, hey, you. I'm going to do a surprise birthday for Curtis this Saturday in North Carolina. Can you come down and I surprise you? I'll fly you down and book you in a Hilton Hotel with us. Hold on, okay. He said... Uh, I didn't even see this. My fault. Uh, was on the road driving, but when exactly do you want it to? She said, can you fly in tomorrow? Now, this was last year, so I don't really know why he posted it. Now, if, there was, if it was this year, that would be some good tea because she was just downplaying his birthday saying she'd forgotten all this other shit. This is last year, so I was like, what, what you want us to do? Fuck it. I'm, okay. <laughs> he said, I got mad screenshots. I'm going to post them since you want to post screenshots. Okay, but... They're old. She already said they was fucking with each other already. So it's not really not really doing nothing. She already said she brought the couch too. So what the fuck is we supposed to do with this? Then he started making videos, the, the brother Ernesto, right? He was like, Curtis did not fumble the bag. Natalie did some disrespectful stuff a few weeks ago. This is called the consequences of your the fact that y'all really keep saying, Oh Curtis, you fumbled the bag. That nigga ain't fumbled nothing, bro. He ain't fumbled nothing, bro. Nigga, my brother been nothing but nice to that girl, bro. Nothing but nice to her, bro. She did some disrespectful shit a couple weeks ago, and that's what happens. It's called consequences in life. You niggas, I don't know what y'all niggas been through in life, but it's called consequences. In life, when you do something that's wrong, shit come back to you. That's why I said, I think some of y'all niggas, some of y'all niggas need to get out the house and go on the streets and go outside. So y'all can know what happens in real life, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all niggas be so stupid. Like, it's, it's some shit called consequences and karma. You know what I'm saying? So the consequences was blackmail. <laughs> okay, what did she do? Cause she nigga, she exposing it. Why can't y'all expose him what she did? If it was so disrespectful, what did she do? Now he's going off because Natalie called him gay. He's like, check my Twitter right now. I'm not gay. Who's gay? Y'all calling me gay? Who? You know what I'm saying? Y'all little niggas and lost shit goddamn minds. How you gonna call me gay, nigga? Check my Twitter, nigga. Are you fing lost your goddamn minds? Nigga, check my Twitter, my Check my Twitter. Who the is gay, nigga. Check my Twitter, nigga. I'm gonna show you motherfucker right now who's gay, nigga. I don't so many bitches, nigga. I never no nigga in my life, nigga. Don't even don't even pill me like that. What am my mother? Don't even pill my top like that, gangster, nigga. Don't pill my top like that. My niggas be on social media and I don't do nothing in real life, nigga. Don't somebody call me gay in real life and see what happens. I ain't never sucked no dick, nigga. I ain't never did no I ain't never did none of that shit. Nigga. Are you crazy, nigga? Stop pilling me like that. I don't gang, nigga. Stop pilling me like that. Where my mother? Stop pilling me like that, nigga. What about my mother? When I see somebody from Zeus, you're gonna get f***ing clapped. You're gonna get f***ing clapped. He's like, if I see somebody from Zeus, you're gonna get clapped. And I'm pretty sure it was, that was a gun. I, well, I'm, let me not say that. I don't know if that was a gun. It just looked like one. Um, you, Why are you angry now? Out of, out of everything that just happened, you're angry now. And if you shoot somebody, you go to jail. So if somebody from Zeus gets shot, it's gonna be all over the blogs, by the way. And everyone is gonna go to who? You. You're going to jail, buddy. Then who jumps they happy little ass in this conversation? Smiley. Smiley, let me tell you something. Smiley, with everything that you just did, I really do hope you got a spot for next season. Because if you just did all of that, right? If you just did all of that, and they don't put you on next season, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. Like, you riding pretty hard for a bunch of people that just did you dirty. I mean, cast, production, and EPs. I mean, they just did you dirty, and you... 
you they number one stepper right now. So Smiley said, Natalie, don't argue back and forth with Ernesto. I got receipts of what he is in real life. My hot game is crazy. Who want to see? Smiley goes and posts a FaceTime call who is supposed to be a, 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 a tea girl and Ernesto. Smiley said, hmm, Ernesto, you caked up with my own girl want to play. Since you coming for Natalie, let me drop this and I, I loved your iCloud. Now, here's the thing. This girl, you know, whole cleavage is out, so I have to blur that out. But um, do I know if this is real? No, I don't. Because you can't make fake FaceTime calls. I'm, I'm, you can't. You could can do that. Like, nigga, it was a whole trend. You could do that. Now, it was one part in the in the uh, this little clip where he, like, he looked close in the phone and she turned it to the person behind her. It was kind of like he said, who behind you? And she turned the phone and he looked. You know what I'm saying? That part kind of seemed real if you ask me. But I don't know if this shit real or not. Okay, so here you go. You, got, you have to take it and do what you want with it. Okay, because I ain't confirming nothing. Now, the FaceTime video for me, it didn't have no sound to it, right? Okay. But then she said, come to Orlando, Ernesto. Then she posted someone's OnlyFans, and it's supposed to be receipts between this person and Ernesto on Instagram. And Smiley posted a Twitter, some Twitter screenshots. Apparently, Ernesto reposted or retweeted a transgender girl on Twitter. And she was like, what kind of straight man out here reposting the T-Girls? Be for real. Oh. Okay, so they sent it to Smiley, and Smiley reposted it. Damn. So the screenshots are real. They, they, they're real. We're going to move on, okay? So, um, Smiley, she said, How you mad when you was exposing and extorting Natalie? Now that I'm doing it, we wrong? So apparently Ernesto or somebody else was saying that the FaceTime video was, well, edited. Because she's saying Photoshop. But Smiley said, How I photoshopped that video? Wait, since I photoshopped that, let me post this one and see if people think it's photoshopped. Now let's play a game. Okay, um... It, it don't get no better. This man said, somebody just told me Smiley is talking about me. Ain't that the girl that just went like this? He mimicked her seizure and throwing it. Y'all, you, you really can't make the hit. Uh, niggas did not just tell me Smiley's talking about me. That little, that little chubby girl from Zeus. Ain't that the same bitch I was going like this? Hold on, hold on. Because I, I love this type of shit. I love this type of shit. Ain't that the same chubby girl that was on Zeus going like this? Don't talk to me. Are you you don't lost your goddamn mind talking to me? Are you crazy? You had a seizure on camera. Don't talk to me. Go check your health. Not talking to nobody who has health problems. You had a seizure on camera, baby girl. Get off Instagram and go to the ER. I ain't gonna lie. Saying I'm gay is crazy. Like if you see my Twitter, stop playing with me. Like. I don't care what screenshots y'all got. I ain't never did no gay shit in my life. I want gay. Now, but Ernesto, I'm I'm extorting you, bitch. You want me to drop this video? Now you gotta send Natalie a honey K, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Wait, gonna drop what? all the videos. He really, he really just did that. He. Was we supposed to have Ernesto on Bad Boys instead of Curtis? Well, actually, I take that back because you just told the woman you was going to hurt her. Well, it don't. It, the other one tried to extort her. So it's, personality-wise, I'm pretty sure we were supposed to have Ernesto, not Curtis. Because I don't remember much from Curtis on his seat. Because the only thing I remember is that they kept talking about the boys being gay. That's the only thing I remember about Curtis. And you really do belong in jail. You, you belong in jail. Why would you get you belong in jail. Now, what I'm about to show y'all is the exact reason why I said, Smiley, you doing all this, I really do hope you have a spot on the next season. Because if you did all this and they don't catch you for next season, you're dumb as hell. So, Smiley, she took it upon herself to leak Curtis information, right? Whole name, right? Whole number. Last digits of his social security. Whole address. It's Smiley, you belong in jail with them. Smiley, do your boyfriend know... You out here leaking random niggas' address, beefing with them and all this. Do your boyfriend know that? You're putting the people around you in beef that don't have shit to do with them because you want to be a lap dog to Natalie. The one, my, if you, Natalie, Natalie mimicked your seizure too. No, no, no. Smiley, you dumb as hell. Now, Curtis, he said, you can't throw dirt on me. I'm too clean. Well, I don't know about that nigga because we just seen the messages. He said, I'm going out tonight to clear some things up. 
He said, I'm going live in 30 minutes. The nigga never went live. Now, the neighborhood talk messy asses, they posted Natalie at the basketball game. Remember when Natalie was on live responding? And she was like, me and my husband, we are going to, uh, go, where did they go? Basketball game. What's, what's, the, what's the basketball team in LA that's not the Lakers? What's the other one called? I don't remember them niggas' name. I don't know why. Oh, the Kings. It was the Kings at the Kings game. She said her and Jacob is going to be courtside. Apparently, Natalie was there, but Jacob wasn't there. Well, I don't know if he went to go get popcorn or to the bathroom, but Neighborhood Talk posted Natalie, and they said Jacob, Jacob wasn't there. <laughs> messy. Messy. Then, Smiley, she leaked Ernesto stuff. She said, damn, Ernesto, po, you want to play cool? She put out his number. Then she put out the first number of his social security. Then, Smiley, she called Ernesto on the phone. So here goes their conversation. Yo. Yeah, I felt like I was talking to a voicemail. Hello? Who the fuck is this? Who are you? Who are you? This is Smiley. You know who I am. I don't know who you are. I never talked to you, baby girl. I never talked well, to you. Well, Ernesto, you know who I am. I'm Smiley. Okay, cool. Nice to meet you. Why are you keep talking about me, huh? Let me know. Why am I talking about huh? you? Yeah. Why are you posting me? Why are you posting my address and close to my address? I want to know why. Why are you posting me, bro? Huh? Let Be me know. Because I want to know why y'all with Natalie, why are you doing that weird shit to her? What, you, what do you mean? What the fuck, nigga? Stop. Why are you going to defend that whole ass shit for, bro? Don't, don't do that shit, bro. No. I don't give a fuck if she recorded me, bro. I don't give a Nigga. Kind of mad. You sound real mad. Now, either you're going to talk to me. I'm telling you, either you talk to me and we can straighten this out. Or the whole world gonna know a lot of stuff about you that they still don't know. That's fine. Do you want to keep playing tough? And, and I'm, I'm telling you right now, the world is very small. So keep doing what you're doing. The world is very small. Trust me. It's very small. It's very small. Just say right now, it's very small. You know, motherfuckers meet everybody, motherfuckers. niggas meet everybody every day, bro. Right. But don't do this shit. Because you're gonna run into me, it's gonna be bad for you. Yeah? Thank you. Yeah, I love that for you. Yeah, all right, copy. All yeah. right, you better get right out. So just chill out with that shit, though. Whatever you're doing, delete all of that shit you're doing right now. Because well, I'm not better deleting shit. Matter of fact, watch how I post. Hey, so cool. Watch, watch, cool. watch, cool. watch cool. what's about to happen. Now you finna be upset because I've been try talking yeah, to you cool. Happened, nigga, you you and your brother. Nigga. It's kind of mad. Then Curtis, he said why he didn't go live. He said, I tried to go live to clear some stuff up, but they leaking my number and playing childish games. What exactly are you going to clear up? I don't, I don't understand. Like, what is there to clear up? We never mind. No, y'all. That's the rest of this video. So if you found it interesting, and I hope you did, please like, comment, subscribe, share, turn post notifications on. Thank you.